Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be making slime, except there won't be any glue involved. Yes, it's possible to make slime without glue. So basically, I'm going to be testing four different slime recipes that don't involve any glue. We all know that peel off face mask works, and the shampoo and salt method doesn't work. So I won't be testing those today. Thank you, Will It's Slime, for inspiring me to make this video. I'll link their channel down below so you can go check them out. They make awesome slime videos, and their no glue slime recipes actually work. Let's make some slime! So first I'm going to be making slime out of cornstarch and conditioner. You can use shampoo or dish soap instead of conditioner, but I feel the conditioner will make it softer. So basically, you mix cornstarch and conditioner together and it makes slime. A lot of you probably already have these two things at home, so hopefully this works. So first, I'm going to start out with one cup of cornstarch. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Okay, and there we go one cup of cornstarch. Next, I'm going to slowly add conditioner. And then I'm gonna mix the conditioner in with the cornstarch until it has a crumbly consistency. Okay, it's starting to get to the right consistency. Okay, this is a good consistency. It's starting to look like slime. So now I'm gonna add a few drops of red food coloring to make it pink. Okay, it's starting to look good. It really does look like frosting. It looks like frosting for a cake. It's not even sticking to me. How cool is that? Actually, it's still a little sticky, so I'm gonna add a little more cornstarch. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Okay, that's the consistency we want. Very doughy. Now I can start kneading it. Oh. Wow, this, this is so squishy, it feels so nice. I cannot believe how well this worked out. I am so happy with this. Okay, so here's the finished slime. Honestly, it's not really a slime consistency to me, but this actually really reminds me of Play-Doh, that toy I always used to play with when I was a kid. Yes, this really reminds me of Play-Doh. I could play with this forever, it's so nice. I am so happy with this recipe. Now this slime was a success. Next, I will be making slime with just styrofoam cups and acetone nail polish remover. Or you can use styrofoam plates or any styrofoam you have in your house. The nail polish remover needs to have acetone in it or else it will not work. So basically, the acetone melts the styrofoam into a slime. If you're a girl and you love to paint your nails, you probably already have the nail polish remover. And a lot of you probably already have styrofoam in your house. So a lot of you can probably make this slime. So first, I'm going to pour some nail polish remover into a bowl. I'm then going to take a styrofoam cup and put it in the nail polish remover. That's weird, it's not melting. It is not melting, I, I don't understand. I got the kind with acetone in it, I, I don't understand. Maybe I just don't have the right type of styrofoam or something. It is not melting whatsoever. Okay guys, this was a fail. So now we're going to make slime out of tapioca flour and water. I'm going to start out with a cup of water in a microwave safe bowl. Make sure the bowl you're using is microwave safe or else there will be problems. I'm now going to add food coloring. I'm doing green. I 
Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of tapioca flour. And then mix it in. Now I'm going to go microwave this for 10 seconds. It's starting to get thicker, but it's definitely not slime yet. I'm gonna keep adding two teaspoons of tapioca flour and microwaving it in 10 second intervals until it starts to look like slime. After three whole minutes in the microwave, this is what I've got. It is very slimy, but is it slime? Let's see. The next step is to put your tapioca flour slime into some cold water to make it less sticky. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh, this is so hard. Ugh. Yeah, guys, this is really sticky. Let me get it all in there. Okay, so now I'm just letting it sit in the cold water. It's really hot. I, I feel like I'm burning my hands. But so far, it's a success. It, it feels like slime. This actually feels like a glue slime. It, it really does, like a jiggly glue slime. This recipe works, but it's not only really sticky unless you put it in water when it sticks, but it just falls apart. It, it doesn't stick together. Okay, so I'm just gonna say that this is both a success and a fail at the same time. Now we're on to the last no glue slime, and that is toothpaste slime. I'm actually really nervous for this one because I don't want it to explode all over my microwave. So first I'm going to squeeze some toothpaste into a microwave safe bowl. Again, the bowl has to be microwave safe or else there will be problems. Also, you need the kind of toothpaste that's a mix of gel and paste. I'm using Crest. Okay, so this is what it looks like after 10 minutes in the microwave. Yes, it took me a really long time to get this consistency. And it lost all of its color. Don't worry, I can always re-add the food coloring when I'm done. Now you have to let this cool off because it's really hot. The toothpaste has cooled off. Now we're going to slowly add lotion to soften this and turn it into a slime. So far, I don't really like it because it leaves a lot of residue on my hands. Let's see if this works. It's so hard. Actually, it's starting to get softer. This is pretty messy, actually. <laughs> but it is softening, that's for sure. Okay, I am not liking this so far. All it's doing is melting. It's just melting, guys. This does have a slime texture, but it's definitely not the kind of slime that you can play with in your hands. Ugh. So far, this is just a goopy mess. That's what it is. Guys, this is not slime. So this was sadly a fail. Okay, so here are the slimes that succeeded. Well, this one definitely succeeded and this one kind of did. The only thing I don't like about this one is that it leaves residue on your hands. It definitely does. This one is definitely my favorite and the most successful one of the four. I hope you enjoyed watching me test out these slime recipes. Honestly, if you want to make slime, I would recommend just going to the store and buying glue. Glue is 
is very cheap and glue for sure works to make slime. But if you don't have any glue or you don't want to use glue, then this recipe is a good alternative. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.